In this video, I want to talk about deploying some cutting edge barcode hardware with an iOS device for use in a retail store setting or maybe in a warehouse environment. Now what I'm talking about are dedicated hardware components specifically designed for iOS devices from a company called Infinite Peripherals. Infinite Peripherals makes custom designed laser barcode readers that actually work with FileMaker that actually fit around your iPhone or iPad. Now we've actually had the opportunity to take these devices apart and kind of beat up on them and work with them with the FileMaker platform. And they actually work pretty slick. These are the similar sort of devices that you've seen at the Apple Store where Apple employees check out customers at high speed providing an excellent customer experience. Now the Apple employees are using this with iPhones but the folks at Infinite Peripherals have built hardware that works with both the iPhone, the iPad mini, and the full-size iPad. Now if you check out their website, we've seen that they've actually supported the iPhone 5, the iPhone 6, and the latest versions of the iPad. Now the way this actually works is that Infinite Peripherals makes a product called the Linea Pro for the iPhone, which is actually a laser barcode reader built into a ruggedized case that your iPhone fits into. So your iPhone actually has a ruggedized protected case with a laser barcode reader built in. It's really cool. Now the product for the iPad is called the Infinia Tab. And they have different tab models, but in general it's called the Infinia Tab. Now there's different variations of the case depending whether you need a lightweight case or a more ruggedized case. It depends what kind of environment you're running in. If you're operating in a warehouse, you might want a more ruggedized case, but if you're operating in a retail store and your employees are somewhat thoughtful and not clumsy, then maybe a more lightweight case might be appropriate. It just depends what your needs are. So now that I've given you kind of an overview of the hardware and actually how it fits on the iOS device, let's talk about using FileMaker Go with these barcode readers. Now it's important to understand that FileMaker Go on the iOS communicates with other applications using the URL protocol. The URL protocol is really nothing more than a very specific web address. Most website addresses that you see are HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www something, right? So when FileMaker Go wants to communicate with the barcode reader, it actually has to talk to the iLinia software that's also running on your iOS device. In fact, as part of the setup process for your iOS device, you're going to install FileMaker Go and also the iLinia software from the Apple App Store. Now to get FileMaker Go to talk to the iLinia software, we have to use this URL protocol. The URL protocol from FileMaker Go to the iLinia software is formatted like this. iLinia colon forward slash forward slash, then the name of our FileMaker file, question mark, script equals single underscore scan, appersand, param, equals, and then the responding script name. Now what does that mean? Well I'm going to get to that in just a second. But that's the URL protocol that we have to send that will initiate the barcode scanning process. Once the iOS sees this, it's going to take control of the process, put FileMaker Go in the background, it's going to go to the iLinea software, which actually is talking to the iLinea hardware. It's going to perform the barcode scan, and then it's going to come back to FileMaker and run the script that you specified as part of that parameter that you passed it. So everything is handled with what is called a URL protocol. It's a little bit technical, but we've got some great examples here that show you how it works. So let's run through a real example. Here I have a very simple sample file. It's black and white. And the kinds of scans that we're most likely to do are a single scan where we press a button in FileMaker, we go to the hardware, and we scan a single barcode. The other kind of scan that we're most likely to do is a multi-scan where we press the button and then we scan multiple barcodes. Say that we would scan an entire shelf worth of items. And during that scanning process, we don't return back to FileMaker until we actually finish scanning all the items on the shelf. So let's just do a single scan for now. 
I'm going to press a single button. As you can see, we've activated the laser barcode reader. I can scan an object and it comes back to FileMaker automatically with the barcode up here at the top. Now how did the barcode get passed back to FileMaker? Well the iLinea software calls back a script in our iLinea demo software and it passes to it a script parameter. Pretty simple. The script that it calls back, I can show you that real quick, I can jump up here. The script is called scan underscore return. Here you can see the basic commands, we have a go to layout, we create a new record. Then we set the script parameter into this giant field right here. And that's the entire process. Pretty slick. Now this is a pretty ugly demo as you can see. Why don't we set something up an FM starting point? I'm going to go into FM starting point. I'm in the invoice data entry screen that we've set up. Now this has been rewired from the normal default version of FM starting point. So understand that any copy of FM starting point you have won't be set up to use this hardware, but we've taken this button and rewired it to call this URL protocol. I'm going to press the button. It's going to go here the hardware automatically as you can see. It's going to do a single scan once again. It's going to take that ID. It's going to come back right here you can see and it puts the product number straight into the ID field here. And it does a lookup. And because that item is already in the product database, it auto populates the product description, unit cost and price. All of it's entered automatically. Pretty slick. Now there's a little bit of a screen flash as we jump from FileMaker Go to the infinite peripheral software and back to FileMaker Go. That's really a function of iOS from Apple. We don't really have any control over that. I wish we could freeze the screen entirely so the user never saw that. But we really have no control over that whatsoever. So let's go back to the other demo. I want to show you this multi-scan real quick. Uh, we don't have the multi-scan wired into starting point but I'm going to hit the multi-scan button right here and this is where we would press this button here and now scan multiple items. So I can scan this, I can scan this item and maybe another item. So we get three items here and then I can press the button on screen here on our software and it knows that we're done and it sends us back to FileMaker Go and it puts once again these items into the field here. So once again everything is passed back as a script parameter. So let's take a look at, at the script protocol one more time here in our demo file. So if I open up the script that initiates this, we zoom in a little bit here, we can see that we have iLinea, which is the name of their app, then we have colon forward slash forward slash, then the name of our demo file, then we have script. Now really, you would think this is referring to a FileMaker script, but it's not. It's actually a process within the iLinea software or a mode within the iLinea software. So it's a little bit misleading. But suffice it to say that we're telling the scanning software from iLinea that we actually want to perform a single scan as opposed to a multi-scan. And of course, if you paid attention much to their website or the other options, Infinite Peripherals also makes printers. They make credit card scanners. There's all sorts of other things that you can do with their hardware. We're just talking about barcode scanning right now. So there's obviously other things that we could put in here besides single scan and multi-scan. And of course the param that we pass is the returning script that we want to activate. So let's go ahead and close this window right here and let's talk about and look at the responding script. It's called scan return. This script will be called and activated on the return and all we have to do is capture the script parameter and do something with it. Now it's important to note that the barcode hardware itself will put itself to sleep sometimes and if it does actually put itself to sleep you know it's like a power savings mode you don't want the battery running itself down even though the laser hardware itself has its own battery if you left it on all the time it would run dead fairly quickly so it puts itself to sleep kinda of like a laptop or iPhone and so if you attempt to scan and that hardware is asleep you're actually going to get an error. And that's all been calculated and thought about in the software. So what happens is that if the hardware is actually asleep and you attempt to scan, 
the iLinea software will go, I can't scan, the hardware needs to be woken up. It will abort the scanning process and come back to FileMaker and run a script. It will run a script with a reserved name. It's called status underscore return. Now our experience in testing this software for MyLinea is that this script name is reserved. Theoretically you can change the script name but when we try to change it with iLinea their software didn't really allow us to change it. It would crash and so maybe in a future release they'll allow us to change the name but status underscore return is a reserved name and I would treat it as such and this is the name that their software will be looking for in your FileMaker Go application to report to you that the scanning has failed. Now the hardware error will be reported back to you in a script parameter. Now the most common hardware error that we have is the linea is not connected and that simply means that it went to sleep. So we show a dialog says please press the scan button to wake up the scanner and try again. Otherwise it shows a different error. Of course I can demonstrate this right here by allowing the scanner to go to sleep. I'm going to go ahead and press scan and we get the error message like this. So that gives us the opportunity to go back, wake up the hardware by pressing the button here so it's all nice and awake, and then we rescan, and it's no big deal. So everything's running normally. So hopefully this gives you an idea of the really cool hardware that you can incorporate with your iOS device from Infinite Peripherals, and these folks are at ipcprint.com. And it's really not that hard to integrate this with your FileMaker solution. And of course this demo goes a long ways towards showing you how to incorporate it straight into your copy of FM Starting Point. So if you have additional questions or suggestions about a demonstration for FileMaker working with the Linea Pro or the Infinia product, feel free to drop us an email at support at RC Consulting or visit the good folks at Infinite Peripherals at ipcprint.com.